Nine advantages of brand marketing coming up. So marketing your brand is key to success. There's so many ways to market today, but really the best way long-term is to market and grow your brand name and your brand logo. Get it out in front of people. So let's talk about nine advantages to brand marketing. Tip number one to brand marketing is when you're marketing your brand, people are reaching out to you because they recognize and trust and understand who you are. What happens there is you have a higher conversion rate, whether that is converting a lead into a customer or a customer into a repeat customer, and you also have a higher average price point because you're not battling people price shopping. When you're marketing your uh, business in other ways, let's say buying leads or spending money doing keyword advertising on Google, you're not really marketing your brand. So what's happening is, is people don't really know you and trust you when they're talking to you. So you have to spend longer in the sales cycle and the conversion rate is more difficult, but also they're price shopping. Generally, they're not only looking at you, but they're looking at some other similar businesses and they're really trying to hit, get you knocked down on price. When they reach out to you because of brand marketing, they're generally not price shopping. They're are usually just talking to you and they already have a sense of trust that's why they reached out to you so that's tip number one advantage number two to marketing your brand is you get more referrals and word-of-mouth business when you're marketing your business in other ways and not so much marketing your brand people aren't as likely to spread the word about your business because they don't really know you that well when you build your brand people spread the word right they tell other people about you and so that gives you more referral business and more word-of-mouth business the bigger you grow your brand in your local area or your target demographic you'll find that you'll get more people reaching out to you because they heard about you from somebody else right um, and so that's going to help grow your business and give you a stronger return on investment advantage number three is by marketing your brand you're positioning yourself really well for voice search voice search is continually increasing here my son he's only nine years old all he does is voice search it's crazy to me like he knows how to do voice search on every device that there is he's constantly asking the device things he doesn't type anything in this is the wave of the future right more and more people are going to be doing voice search now now here's the deal. If you're not marketing your brand, they're not going to be asking the device for your information to call you, right? For directions to your business. They're going to be instead saying things like, give me the, give me a local plumber, right? That's not as good as them saying, call Allen's Plumbing, right? Call ABC Plumbing. What you want them to do is know your brand. So when they need a chiropractor or a plumber or whatever it is that you provide as a business, instead of asking the device for that particular product or service, they ask that device for you and that's brand marketing but to get there you're going to need to invest in your brand so that the target market that you're marketing to knows who you are so when they need the products and services that you sell they ask for your brand name on their device advantage four to brand marketing is you're going to see a lift in your social following people are going to know who you are so they're going to look for you on social and they're going to follow you they're going to look at your content they're going to engage with your content social media is huge today this is where people are spending all their time and so you're going to want to build your brand name so that you also build your following on social media which extends the reach of your brand to your target market making more people aware of who you are advantage number five to brand marketing is it builds the value of your business just think about it. If you're not really marketing your brand, if you're just buying leads or you're just spending money on Google for keywords, but you're not really marketing your brand, then the valuation of your business five years from now isn't gonna really be all that strong. But if you're really marketing your brand so that your brand becomes recognized, right? And your target market, that's gonna create a lot of value, right? And that's gonna increase the valuation of your business. So if you ever wanna sell your business or anything like that, you're gonna wanna have a strong brand and to have a strong brand and you need brand marketing. Advantage six to brand marketing is Google actually look, looks at this as a signal for rankings. Um, the algorithms are smart enough now to know what businesses have a stronger brand, what businesses people trust more, what businesses have more social engagement. And it's using these algorithms to determine which businesses to rank at the top of Google. So when you see Google map rankings or Google rankings, when you just search anything on Google, a lot of those things are determined by the strength of the brand. Google wants to show the most relevant um, results in a Google search page. And those most rele relevant results are generally the businesses that Google thinks are most trusted and most reliable. And to get that trust and reliability that you're looking for, you need to invest in marketing your brand and building up your brand.
Advantage number seven with uh, brand marketing is it really knocks down your cost per acquisition over time and increases your return on investment on your marketing dollars. The reason that is, is because you have a higher conversion rate. More people trust you, so more of the people you're talking to are becoming customers or clients. And also, because of brand marketing, driving more referrals and word of mouth business, you're getting more and more essentially free customers, right? And so that's knocking down your overall cost per conversion or cost per acquisition for your customers, which is therefore increasing your return on investment. If you're doing a marketing strategy like buying leads or spending money on a Google keyword ads and those sorts of things, what's happening is it's a hamster on a wheel, right? You have to spend the same amount of money every month to get the same amount of business. It's a never ending death cycle. But by doing brand marketing, it's different. It's a momentum based system. So after five years of brand marketing, you might be only spending this much still like you did year one, they're getting this much sales, whereas in year one it was this much sales so the sales continue to grow advantage eight to brand marketing is it helps you capture more market share in your area by building your brand your goal should be that when people in your target market or in your local area need the products or services that you provide they think of you first and if they do that means you control that piece of the market you captured that market share by not marketing your brand when they need the products or services that you provide and they don't think of you first they think of somebody else or they think of having to search that keyword on Google you haven't captured that market share and so you have opportunity there right and there's cost to lost opportunity so what you want to do is invest in building your brand to capture more market share over time and as a result you'll see a lot more sales so advantage number nine last advantage talking about brand marketing isn't so much an advantage as it is some tips on how you can actually grow your brand and invest in marketing your brand so there's a lot of different ways but you're going to want to be multi-channel you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get your logo out in front of people in your local community, whether that's through community fundraisers, you know, being a part of the community activities that are going around on around town, or if you target market, you know, a larger than a local community, being on digital presence, you know, whether it's social media marketing, doing YouTube advertising, maybe to getting in inside of apps like with the Waze app with your logo, getting on digital billboards, those are becoming very popular around town. You see these digital billboards along the roads and highways, get your logo logo up there. Just get in front of your target market as much as you can with your logo and your brand name. You don't need to overcomplicate it. You don't need a catchy call to action or, or special offer or anything like that. Just get your name out there. Be involved in your community, both on social media and just out and about on digital billboards and through fundraisers and those sorts of things so that over time, the local community just sees you so much that when they think about the products or services that you provide, they think of you first because you've just been everywhere, right? And that takes time, but it takes an investment as well. And so think about what you can afford for your business for, for brand advertising. I would recommend reinvesting 10% of your revenue back into marketing your brand on a monthly basis. So whatever your revenue was, reinvest 10% back into brand marketing. That way, as you grow your business and your revenue increases, you also increase your marketing budget and that way the marketing budget as it grows can continually propel you forward on revenue growth and growing your business for success so that's it thanks for watching hopefully these nine advantages to brand marketing help give you some ideas for the future and how you can grow your business if you have some additional tips or advantages that you'd like to include along with this please throw it in the comments like the video if you like it share it with your friends and happy marketing